Welcome to the Ohio Department of Health Safe Sleep 101 for your baby, and congratulations on the new addition to your family. Hi, I am Dr. Stacy Scott from the Ohio Department of Health. Every week in the state of Ohio, three babies die in an unsafe sleep environment. That's why it's so important for you to understand how to correctly and safely put your baby to sleep. The American Academy of Pediatrics recommends the following ways to keep your baby safe while they're in their crib sleeping. First, make sure your baby has its own sleep space. The safest place for your baby to sleep is in the room where you sleep, but not in your bed. Place a crib, pack and play, or bassinet near your bed within arm's reach. This makes it easier to breastfeed and bond with your baby. The crib should be placed away from window cords as they create a strangulation hazard. There is no safe way to share the bed with your child because you can accidentally roll too close to or onto your baby while they sleep. Babies can get trapped between the mattress and the wall, headboard, footboard, or other piece of furniture. Your baby could fall from the bed and get hurt or fall into a pile of clothing or other soft items on the floor and suffocate. Also, don't nap on couches or chairs with your baby. Many infants have died when they became wedged between their parents' arms, chest, or cushions. Once you create a separate sleep space for your baby, you want to make sure you remove everything from the crib. Items such as bumper pads, blankets, pillows, and stuffed animals. These items can be deadly. Babies can suffocate and get strangled on extra items in the crib. Babies are safe without bumper pads because they cannot exert enough force to break a bone if they get caught in the slat of the crib. They will cry, wake you up to move them, but they will be alive and breathing. The crib should have a firm mattress that fits tightly into the crib frame. If you can place two fingers in between the mattress and crib, then you are using an unsafe mattress. Place a tight fitted sheet on the mattress and dress your baby in a correct size sleep sack to keep him or her warm when needed. Place your baby to sleep on his or her back in the crib. The back sleep position is safest for baby and the baby is less likely to choke if placed on its back. Never put your baby on their stomach or on their side. Many parents believe that babies will choke on their spit up if they're placed on their back, but that is simply not true. Babies might actually clear such fluids better when on their backs because of the location of the windpipe when in the back sleep position. When the baby is in the back sleep position, the windpipe lies on top of the esophagus, which leads to the stomach. Anything regurgitated or reflux from the stomach through the esophagus has to work against gravity to enter the windpipe and cause choking. When the baby is sleeping on its stomach, such fluids will exit the esophagus and pool at the opening of the windpipe, making choking much more likely. Thank you for watching and always remember the ABCs of safe sleep, alone, on their back, in a crib. For more information about safely putting your baby to sleep, visit www.safesleep.ohio.gov. Have a safe sleep for you and your baby.